I'm Lindley Lund, Gary County Schools USD 475's Media and Marketing Specialist, and I'm here today with our Superintendent, Dr. Reginald Eggleston. Doc, how are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. How are you today? I am good. You know, it was a busy week with the district last week. It was the start of school for a lot of our schools and also our orientation, so getting families and students back in schools. How is that going? Well, I have to tell you, it was a very positive week. A lot of energy throughout the district. I had the opportunity to visit several of the open houses provided by our schools. Tremendous turnout. Parents and students were all excited. Teachers were very rested and, and, and ready to receive students. And then, as you know, Wednesday, we started our first day of school. And I had an opportunity to visit all of our schools throughout the remaining portion of the week. And again, just a lot of excitement, people really enthusiastic about returning and uh, just excited for a good school year. I think people are ready to return after all that we experienced last year. I think people are really excited about being back in school face to face or in person. Absolutely. And I bet that's such a great you know, experience for those kids to be inside the classroom for sure. Um, and it is as normal of a school year as we can get, but there are still some changes. Um, tell me a little bit about those. Well, as you can see, we are wearing face masks. We thought that uh, we would make it optional, but it is required. And when you think about it, Lindley, we are a district of 7,000 students, 1,300 employees, and it really would be irresponsible on our part not to put the safety measures in place. Uh, we shared with the Board of Education that sometime during the month of October, we would revisit the wearing of masks but for now, it is required in all of our facilities, on buses, in vehicles. And, and I think it's just uh, a, a natural way of just knowing that we're all together, it's keeping us together. And that's what's most important. Absolutely. And as we all know, you know, this pandemic is ever changing. And so when it comes to families staying informed, where can they go to find out information about coronavirus or just this school year? And how will we keep them updated? Well, as you know, we keep everything on our web page, whether it's the district's web page or each individual school's web page. They can find all the information they need as far as mitigating measures that are occurring. Each school is also creating a re-entry plan which is really just a follow-up from what we did last year. But they've made some adjustments, kind of uh, loosened some of the requirements and then maintained some as well. So if parents have any questions about what's happening at their individual school, I just want to direct them to their school's web page and they'll have all the information they need. Absolutely. And you know, perhaps the biggest change for this school year is a brand new high school. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. Well, we are very excited about the new high school. Uh, due to some construction challenges, we had to push back the start date for students till the 25th of August. Uh, we will be having an orientation on the 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m. And so that gives parents and students an opportunity to walk the halls, touch the walls, get their uh, schedules, meet their teachers, and just get familiar with the building prior to the first start of school on the 25th. Absolutely. And you know, you drive past this building and it's just such a state of the art facility. But tell me what specific qualities does this school have that the last school did it? Well, it's just a modern facility. It has all the latest and greatest architectural uh, designs in it. We're going to have uh, career technical education pods, which definitely gives students an opportunity to explore and determine what they want to be when they grow up, so to speak. Uh, just really the state of the art. And we're excited because it enhances all programs, whether it's academics or on the athletics or the fine arts. It covers every aspect of what a student can experience at the high school. Absolutely, and you listed all great things, but what are you mostly excited about, you personally? I'm probably most excited about it's getting open because we have gone through so much to get to this point. I do want to say thank you to all of our uh, partners. It's been the city and the county, as well as other agencies who have been part of this experience. It has taken a joint effort to get to this point. And so it's something really that the community and the region, as well as even the state should be very proud of because it is a good representation of what uh, agencies can do when we work together. And when you think also about we are serving the local community and our students on Fort Riley. 
wow, that is tremendous right there to know that we're impacting the lives of, of, of our young people, young people both in this community as well as those of men and women who wear the uniform. So just really excited about that. I think this is history in the making and something that this community should be very pleased and proud of. Absolutely. Well, I think that ends it on a great note. I think that's all the questions I have. Is there anything else that you'd like to mention? Well, I just want to tell everybody to make sure that they go to our website, uh, check out all the information that we have. I want to also encourage parents to update any information that they may not have in the system now, phone numbers, emails, any contact information, just in case we need to send them updates and all. I do also want to say that parent engagement and parent uh, parent engagement is important. We invite parents to be part of the team. We want them to be part of the team. I encourage them to get in and meet their teachers, meet the principal, set up meetings, and really just get engaged and involved with their students' academics. Uh, that's so critical. Even though it's the start of the year, how we start has everything to do with how we end. And if we can start on a positive note, I believe we'll end on an even greater note at the end of the year. So uh, look forward to more conversations like this as we move forward. And again, just want to say thank you to our uh, teachers, administrators, and parents for their resilience, patience as we go into a new school year. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.